being back in Chicago, does it feel different being at SoxFest this year? Um, a little bit. We got a lot of younger kids, uh, or kids, younger uh, players, and uh, yeah, that's what it feels like, even though I'm only 30. But, uh, you know, we got a lot of, lot of guys to break in and, um, you know, go from there. We got a lot of veterans and, uh, you know, both Spanish and English, so we can help everybody out. And I'm excited to see what we got. I'm excited to see who's going to make the 25-man roster. And uh, they got a lot. Rick Hahn and Rick uh, Renteria have a lot of uh, things they got to think about. The big talk last year was the magic they said in the clubhouse, the team's chemistry. What is everyone talking about this season? I don't know yet. We're, um, I guess, all the young guys we got because we haven't really, I haven't really talked to many people. I talked to Brett Laurie a little bit, and um, I think there'll be a lot more talks once spring training comes around, and uh, hopefully everybody's healthy and hopefully everybody's ready to go. I mean, there's there's not much right now we can talk about. Where do you see your role on this team? Yeah, I, I think I, I can be the leader. I think I can help the guys out. Uh, you know, um, you know, little things. You know, not necessarily baseball stuff. You know, how to dress, how to, you know, just be that you know young gentleman that you need to be on and off the field. And you know, once baseball stuff comes around, if you, if we see something, we can always you know go after it after a game or you know tell them right there. But I don't think I don't need to be barking at these guys. But I, I think you know you have to be stirring what you're doing uh, so they can understand. It is a young team. It's a rebuilding year. Is it a little awkward coming back into a season like that? No, no. I, I've been with it with the Reds. Um, you know, they they're supposed to trade everybody. They only traded two or three guys. But, um, you know, they have to know basically the White Sox way, I guess you can say, you know, for, for better usage. But um, how we go about things, I think it's going to start with the first meeting with Rick Renteria and what he, um, he uh, wants to get out of us as players and uh, as a team. And um, we'll go from there. What qualities did you see in Rick as being your bench coach last year that make him a great manager? Um, energy. Energy. He's got a lot of energy, which I love, emotion, and uh, he loves the game of baseball. He's very passionate about it, uh, wants to win, and uh, I think that's, that's what we need in our leader. Energy. Brett Laurie. You have a great relationship with Brett Laurie. Have you been able to talk to him in the offseason? A little bit. A little bit. I, I've been watching some of the videos he posts on Instagram, and uh, it's unbelievable, man. He makes me laugh uh, every day. And uh, my son, actually, all of a sudden, he's like, let's FaceTime Brett Laurie, just like that. And <laughs> we FaceTime, and they talk. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool, man. we got a good relationship, and uh, he's ready to go. Do you feel a certain need to almost not protect yourself, but there could be the possibility that you do not stay with this organization. How do you mentally prepare yourself for that? You just try not to think about it. I think it's uh, something not to worry about. It's not in your hands. Uh, I tell everybody, until my agent calls me and tells me, you know, you might be going here, then, I, then I'll start thinking about the possibilities. But there's, there's, a lot more to, there's a lot more things to worry about when you got two kids. And, um, you know, you know you're going to be playing baseball somewhere. So... Uh, Wherever it is, it happens. Hey, Blake's our broadcaster, right? Yeah, he's a, <laughs> in Disney World, man. He was so For funny. For anyone who doesn't know, his son is Blake, and yes. he, he admires Hawk. He, oh, he loves Hawk. I remember we had, uh, <laughs> we had a bus ride home from uh, Detroit or something. I forget where, and him and Hawk just talked for an hour. It was unbelievable. Okay, well, they need to check out the Instagram. It's on your wife's? What, wife. what is her uh, handle? Her handle is, I think, uh, jfrage 14 Okay. And uh, I don't have Instagram, but uh, my wife puts stuff on there every day. And uh, check it out. It's fun. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Thanks for talking with us, Dad.